This video looks at how to transport fresh fruit and vegetables so that they remain in premium condition from the shed to the market. After all the time and effort spent growing and packing fresh fruit and vegetables, it only takes a few hours at the wrong temperature to downgrade their quality. The first step is to understand what temperature is required for your produce. Too hot and it will spoil, too cold and it can get damaged. If you're packing mixed loads, make sure they're compatible in terms of temperature and in terms of ethylene sensitivity. So let's have a look at what happens to the temperatures of your product once it gets into the truck. This is a rough graph of fruit temperatures during transport. When operated correctly, refrigerated Pantech trucks maintain a set temperature. They don't drop it. So if your produce goes in hot, it will stay hot. This makes it vital that you pre-cool your load to the appropriate temperature before you load it onto the truck. So when the truck arrives, first check the refrigerator unit is working properly. And if you're using a loading dock, make sure the truck is already cooled to the correct temperature. Check the temperature of the fruit or vegetables before loading it and write it on the consignment note in case there are problems down the track. And next, load the vehicle correctly, ensuring that the proper air channels are free of blockages and your pallets are secured properly. Airflow is vital in keeping your entire load at the correct temperature. A properly packed refrigerator truck has airflow that runs around the load from front to back. There is also a circuit of airflow that runs from one side of the truck to the other. For good air circulation, there must be a path down the sides, top, back, with a solid bulkhead at the front. Many trucks are loaded, leaving a space at the front to counterbalance the weight of extra fuel over the axle. This short circuits the airflow, cooling only the front of the load and allowing the rest of the load to heat up and spoil. To correct this, place the pallets tight against the bulkhead, or if weight is an issue, try to use empty boxes to create the channels needed for optimal airflow. Another important note to remember, if you have ripening fruit, which produce carbon dioxide, such as mangoes do, open the vents in the truck to flush out the carbon dioxide buildup. If there are no vents or they are closed, the doors should be opened for five minutes every eight to 12 hours. Excess carbon dioxide can damage your fruit and in certain concentrations, it poses a really significant health risk to the driver. So remember, pre-cool your load, check the temperatures of the truck and the temperatures of your produce before loading and write it on the consignment note. Make sure the mixed loads are compatible for temperatures and ethylene sensitivity. Make sure your pallet is aligned properly for airflow and if you have ripening fruit, which produce carbon dioxide, vent the truck or open the door every 8 to 12 hours.